17th of December. Oh my gosh, it's the anniversary of the first flight of the Wright Brothers. Uh, removed all the bolts. And one more pull out of here. silver cad plated bolts uh, so let's see if we can pull this out but the rot on this rear spar is incredible this is a mostly a plywood doubler these are the staples they use to hold the plywood doubler in place while they uh Epoxy or whatever they used, probably resource and all at the time, was uh, setting up. All right, let's pull this up. Not too bad. So it's going to need some, some sandblasting and some pit evaluation. look any better from this view. All right, December 17th, 2021. So, today's the day where, so I've removed all the bolts. Let's see if I can pull this fitting off. Hmm. There's the root fitting. Right there. Root fitting, main spar, left hand wing. Looks like it's in very, very nice shape. There's all the bolts and hardware there. Greetings. Here's the status as of the 21st of December. First day of winter. Um, I have the uh, inboard rib all the diagonal bracing and the root fittings off. You can see these bars are pretty rough. This is the bond line for doubler. It's like a 32nd of an inch of doubler. Spars cracked and the root end looks pretty rough. So unfortunately, it's looking like I'm gonna have to retire this. That's the next rib in. There's the uh, aft. Aft is really pretty crusty, as they say. So yeah, we're gonna be looking at new, new spars. Um, here is the the inboard rib. See that uh, there's some fair amount of corrosion where it, where it tucks into the uh, into the spar. So I think there's a little bit of moisture transfer going on, and this one broke. So looks like I'll be making some of these parts here. But I mean, I think it's dirty. It's got a lot of holes in it. I really want to use, reuse all the, as much of this airplane as possible because of the historical aspect, the fact that it's 80 years old and it's put together in Montreal, Pennsylvania. Um, so that's the rib. So the rib is attached to the, um, to the spars using these little aircraft nails, and boy, I will tell you, these little nails really don't want to come out of there. So, here's, here's one. So they kind of rust in there. But the plastic scraper, it's kind of thick. So what it does is I cut a slot in it here. See, slot. I run that around the nail like 
this. And I hammer that in and it pops the rib out ahead of the nail and then pull the, the nail out <clears throat> without damaging the rib. But um, I gotta come up with a better plan. This hasn't worked very well and it's uh, pretty tedious, pretty onerous. Um, so that's, uh, that's the story as of today. this back, second rib in, remove this, remove that, yuck, 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 coming back here, remove that, put a nice hole in my hand because I wasn't using my entire brain, um, so I'm going to remove this uh, trailing edge piece so I can pull this this way, so I can pull this rib out for the rest of the ribs too. Okay, so that's the start. screwdriver to make sure the grooves are clear and then all right so here's how I take these very difficult screws out so like I said I clean them out first I have them all soaked up with WD-40 I don't hold it like this because then I drive the screwdriver through my hand but pretty much with all of my might yeah, I just get a turn on it. One turn, and out it comes. Voila. All right, here's the other piece of key. Here's the other key. It's a nice, sharp. this technique also to like I was hoping it would break off but instead it looks like it's gonna want to unscrew all right so now I have like about a total of three or four hours into it I only have the first two ribs removed, plus all the root end fittings. But uh, hopefully, I'll get better at this. So, I did develop one tool that I think is helpful. Um, I just went out and bought a putty knife and I uh, sawed some slots in it. Those slots uh, should go around the nails and as as you drive that in you drive the nail out of the spar and then hopefully you can grab it with needle nose vice grips but every every nail is a different story so yeah we'll see if I get better at this so each of the four rib bays up to this fourth rib bay look like it's so they have these so I removed them there but they were just some kind of some wood screws going into the top of the spar so this is ready to come out but um, 
So it looks like what they did is they made it so you could retrofit a fuel tank into the wing without really modifying the wing very much. And as a matter of fact, these uh, innermost ribs have this, looks like a girder for support of the bottom of the tank. Whereas if you look in the next the next rib up, it doesn't. It's this common, common cross section. This is girder. So that's the latest. Plus uh, it has uh, this plywood doubler here, which goes, mounts on the rib. And that would, I guess, frame the bay for the for the fuel tank. So obviously, this is the left hand wing, uh, left hand uh, wing, so it doesn't have a fuel tank. It only has it in the right hand wing. So on these blocks that they use on the forward spar and on the aft spar, they uh, instead of making the ribs or the uh, pieces to size, they put these nasty plywood shims. There's uh, the 80 year old screws there where they go into the spar. Now we're going to take the second rib off. Um, it's not as easy as it looks like sitting in your chair, but so walk it off like this. Walk it off like that. You have the trailing edge removed. So this can slide out. Slide out. staples that they used when they bonded these doublers on that it's getting caught on there and that this It's a great day to be an American.